In this episode of the Full Boost Tech Files, we're going to show you how to make your very own bending brake. Hi everyone, I'm Paul from Mr. Parts and Rotary Race Cars. And I'm Luke from Full Boost and today we're going to show you the steps involved in making your very own bending brake at a fraction of the cost of a store bought one. So what is a bending brake? Well it's a machine that uses leverage to give a nice sharp bend to sheet metal steel. Its main parts are a flat surface, a clamping bar to hold sheet in place and a front plate that is hinge mounted that is moved to create the bend. So why would you want to make one of these machines? Anyone who's ever mounted anything on their car that may not bolt up to a factory location will know that they have to make up some kind of bracket. People use anything from preformed brackets, lattice type material, or even sheet metal that's smashed into place on a vise. All these methods may give a result, they often look pretty poor. A bending brake with consistent sharp bends at any degree you wish, resulting in a professional look. Once you've made your bending brake, you can make anything you wish such as a fuel cell, a surge tank, or a toolbox. Okay, let's get building. Okay, so you want to build your own bending brake? No problems. You're going to need some materials first before you get started. Here, got some 50 by 50 by 6 mil angle iron. At the back here, some 50 by 100 box steel. Up here, some 40 by 40 box steel. You're going to need some hinges so the angle iron can move to, uh, to bend the steel, flat steel. Tape measure and a texter for marking out everything you need. Uh, good quality drill bits, a decent drill, some nuts and bolts, and that's pretty much it. I'll be welding it all together with my TIG welder, but you could weld it with any welder, or you could actually put this together with just some nuts, bolts, and even just rivets. So everything you see here besides the drill and the, and the tape machine drill bits and the welder, well under $100. So something like this would go in shops for probably over a couple of hundred dollars for a one meter uh, bending break. But yeah, you can get out of this for well under a hundred bucks, so why not give it a crack? So let's get into it and build it. First thing I want to do now is get this bending brake freestanding. So I'm going to weld these legs to one of the angle lines. Now you can see this has got a blue uh, paint on it. Also, this has got a bit of surface rust and scale on the, uh, on the surface of it. So what I'll do is I'll just mark here, here, where I'm going to weld. And then what I'll do is I'll get the uh, grinder disc and I'll just grind those areas so they're just uh, raw metal is showing so I can get a nice clean weld. You can see the sections where we've uh, ground away the blue paint there, so they're nice and shiny, contaminant free, and, and ready to weld. Right, so what I want to do now is basically just put a few tacks on either side, just to make sure that the metal can't move or grow at all once it gets heated. So if we put a tack on every corner, uh, it'll basically stay in position and you can weld the whole, uh, the whole leg up. Okay, so this is one leg done and dusted. Let's do the second one and get this thing on its legs. All right, so this is starting to take a bit of shape here. I've got the frame uh, and the angle on here welded. It is freestanding, but it's not stable yet. So we need to weld these feet in on the legs. Uh, what we're gonna do is recess a section out of here, slide this in there, weld it up around there, and that'll give it stability. So when we are bending over sheet metal, it won't topple over on itself. So uh, we'll get started on that now, and we'll get it freestanding uh, on the ground by itself and, and move on to the next section.
so these are all cut off, ground off. We've got the fitment that we want. We've split this at about 80-20, so we're 20 up here, 80 down that way. Uh, it fits in there perfect, marked it off, time to clamp it and weld it. Okay, so we've got our frame basically done now. Yeah? Uh, feet, legs, and the angle line up here, as you can see, really sturdy, not going anywhere at all. Uh, even if we put a bit of load on it, uh, you can see it doesn't topple up at all, so it's exactly what we want. Uh, next part is to weld on the hinges up here, either side, for the piece of angle line that will swivel up to bend our sheet metal, as well as bolting down the other piece of angle line up here that will hold our uh, sheet metal in place while we're doing it. So let's get into that. Okay, so the hinge is in place now. We've drilled the hole and we've got the bolt here that secures that top angle, angle line onto the main frame, which holds the sheet metal in place while we're bending. Now all we need to do now is really uh, put a couple of tack welds on the back of this bolt just so it holds it in place while we are undoing this bolt, just to make it easier so it doesn't fall down. And also weld a handle onto this piece of angle line here. So we've got something to grip onto when we're bending this up. So here it is, it's basically finished now. Uh, a couple of little changes we've made just before we get it ready for paint. Uh, we've ground a really sharp edge here, just for a nicer cleaner bend. And we've also welded a uh, provision here for a handle, so uh, this easily just accepts this here, so we can lift it up. Uh, instead of welding a big handle there all the time, it's just easier to store away with, with this uh, handle that we just slipped in there. So um, that's pretty much it. Now, the most important part before we do paint it is, does it work? So uh, simply use it, we just lift up this part here, slide our flat sheet metal in, use these bolts to secure the workpiece. It's now in there nice and tight, it can't go anywhere, and it's pretty much as simple as, as this. So we've bent it up to 90 degrees, loosen off the top, lift it up, there you have it, that's basically it. So that's a nice, sharp, tight 90 degree bend. You want it to go further if you wanted to make some of a box, um, you could put it in say there. Bend it again, up to 90. That's it, perfectly bent, 90 degree bends. All made by your bending brake for under $100. Can't go wrong. Painted, stick it up, completely assembled. Now it's ready to bend. Not bad for all under $100. There it is, the Bargain Basement Homemade Bending Brake. Easy to make and easy to use. It'll save you plenty of time on your next job or project and it'll give you that professional look that you need. So what's next for the Full Boost Tech Files? Well, we've got a turbo engine upgrade in the works as well as a fuel upgrade and an ethanol um, comparison test. But let us know what you'd like to see. Drop us a line and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.